college football playoff is now set. Florida State becomes the first Power 5 undefeated champion to ever get left out. Is that appropriate or unfair? Look, you can look at this one of two ways. What is the purpose of the committee? Is it to deem the four most worthy teams or the four best teams? When you go strictly on worth, then you have to go by the numbers. And the numbers would suggest the Florida State should be in there based on an undefeated schedule. They also went out of conference to beat two SEC teams, by the way. And yes, as you mentioned, they won their conference championship as well. If you go just on who is best, there's no one that would say this Florida State team is the same team that was even in the position to be undefeated and win their conference championship after what happened to their quarterback and their second string quarterback. So you have an argument either way. It depends on what you think is best. I believe that the committee should put the four best teams in there. If you do that, then there's going to be a level of subjectivity that is going to punish someone else. And in this instant, it was Florida State. Now, Georgia fans will also say they were punished because they're the first team ever to go from number one, Gary, to outside the top four in the final ranking. And they lost in their conference championship team to a team that's in the playoff. So that is also unprecedented. But again, regardless of what happened this past weekend, somebody was going to be upset. And it just happens to be Florida State in this situation. That's right. Um, like Florida State, it is true, becomes the first Power 5 undefeated champion to ever get left out. But if we would have left Alabama out, it would have been the first SEC champion to ever get left out. We were always going to do something based on how this season unfolded that had never been done before. And it just sort of highlights right. how fortunate the committee has been for all these years to never be in this position. The truth is... Everybody's talking about Florida State got screwed. And if you want to subscribe to that, it's fine. I guess I would, because I agree with you, by the way, I think the committee got it right. Um, Florida State got screwed by the people who designed the tournament. It's too small. Right. It has always been too small. And the, we, we've always been open to this type of thing happening. And finally, here we are. And the irony is, Gary, that we shouldn't be in this situation. That's right. There was an opportunity last year to already have the 12 team playoff that we're going to have for next year. But no, this little alliance with the Pac 12 and the Big Ten, and the Big Ten kind of screwed those other conferences in the Big 12 as well. And this would happen. So we got this chaos. As you said, it's amazing we've never had it to this degree before, but we shouldn't even be having it because the playoffs should be expanded this year anyway. Now we got to wait to next year. Do you think, because there are principles that the selection committee uses that emphasize conference champions over non-conference champions that emphasize the results of head-to-head -head matchups that actually do say if key players are unavailable that needs to be considered in part of the process it's all there what's not there is buddy we don't want to make a lopsided national semifinal but somewhere in that room because they've been knocked on this the semifinals have been bad historically they have to know if we put florida state in one of these games like, if we put Florida State against Michigan, they will be a 20-point underdog. We'll, it'll probably be something like, we don't, you never know, play it on the field. But right. the, the potential for it to be ugly and bad is a very real thing. And I think on some level when you're the committee, whether that's in the principles or not, it's in your head somewhere. Yes, and let's, we have to be real with this conversation, Gary, because there are emotions involved for fans, and they don't want to hear sometimes the reality when their team is adversely affected by that reality. This is a business, dog. It's a multi-billion dollar business, right? And so the committee, whether they are doing it consciously or subconsciously, are trying to put a quality product yeah. on national television. So good that when the contract comes up again, they will want more billions of dollars from us at ESPN to broadcast this tournament on television. Don't ever forget that. And also to be noted, you have this 13-man committee, I believe, 13-person committee, right? So they have all these conversations. But when it comes time to pick those final teams, 10 of those people leave the room. Right. And then there's a smaller group that determines who's actually in there and the rankings which will determine the matchup, okay? Do not forget that reality because this is a business. And when it comes to business, usually the bottom line is the thing that always trumps everything else. And oh, by the way, you take a look at these particular matchups, Alabama versus Michigan, and you got Texas versus Washington, 
Those are great matchups on paper for the semifinal. But do you believe that Washington is actually the second best team in the top four? Or should they be lower? Is Texas better than Washington? Is Alabama potentially better than Washington? If they were matched up, they would be favorite against the Huskies in both of those matchups. But still, they have number two because the one versus four and the two versus three are better matchups than if you shifted to Alabama at number two.